Hi, Clay from Hobo Backyard Farm, and uh, we're just doing a little bit of mowing in that today. But we wanted to stop a minute and show you how the peas and things are doing. The peas are starting to grow together, so I got to put a trellis up for them. But you can see there's we've got the blossoms, and they're starting to put some peas on them. And they've got tendrils that are looking to get on some wire, so I'm just going to take and tack on some sticks and put a little wire across there so they've got something to grow against. Our lettuce is doing well. You can see some of it's coming to a head. And uh, I want to get the peas growing up before they start growing all over the lettuce. And uh, the green onions are doing well, too. How do so they taste? Very good. Sweet. <laughs> uh, so this is just an update on the, the garden, the square foot gardening table. Um, it's great for the smaller vegetables like onions and radishes and small heads of lettuce and things like that with a, with a shorter root system. Uh, I recommend the bucket system for anything like zucchini or something that gets a long root system so that it gives it a chance to fill the buckets and it, they grow down through the neti pots. Let's show them the bucket system outside here in the backyard. I know they saw the one in the front yard. Well, we've showed the backyard before, but... We'll it's a little messy back here because it's mowing day. Yeah. Got to pick things up and get things ready to mow. Working and whatnot. All right, we've got, I've got kale growing in two ways. I've got it growing in a bucket with a um, inch hole drilled to the bottom of the bucket so that it doesn't drown your root systems, but it gives it a chance to grow into the bucket. We're growing it that way, and we're also growing it into the, into the bucket system. And so far, they're both about the same. What's this here? These are watermelons. We're trying watermelon with the water system because watermelon need a lot of water. I think that uh, this will be a good system for watermelon, but we'll see and try it out. Hopefully it'll be fine. Um, we've got the jalapeno peppers. We took those out of the, the top, the tabletop because they weren't doing very well, but now they're starting to green up a little bit now that they're in the bucket system. And uh, about another week, I'll pick the tops off them so that they can get stronger. What's going on here? These are our... <coughs> Excuse me. These are our Sweet 100 cherry tomatoes. And as you can see, we got quite a few cherry tomatoes started. They don't seem to be the... I've been uh, taking out the suckers, but they don't seem to be as getting as strong stock wise as the ones in the front what but about these, these other tomatoes? these are grape tomatoes and they're getting i keep pulling the suckers out of these and these are getting some strength to the stalks oh. i like the grape tomatoes a little better than i do the cherry tomatoes anyways but the cherry tomatoes are i'm gonna fertilize them maybe that'll maybe that'll help they don't seem to be as green or as stocky as the other ones. I just keep taking the suckers out. About every other day, the suckers just keep coming back more and more. But if you keep taking them out, it uh, gives strength to the to the plant itself. They're getting little suckers, but not anything major. But as you can see, we've got lots of blossoms. These are the grape tomatoes. A week ago, they didn't have very many blossoms. Now they've got them coming all over the place. So I'm impressed with it. Once I start eating the tomatoes of it, I'll really be impressed with it. So, so this is this is Clay and Ruthie from Popel's Backyard Farms giving you an update on the bucket system, the front and the back. The front bucket system seems to be working better. Uh, these guys get sun, but I I used up all the compost when I did the front, and I had to do makeshift with this back here so they may not be getting the nutrients they should so I'm going to give these guys a little fertilizer. Okay this is Clay from Popel's Backyard Farm saying join us again.